Halo Infinite Memory Agent, Part 6. I know that you have no recollection of anything that I am saying, but knowing you as I do, you should feel that this is all true, as it did for me. This will be your fifth and final mission, Operation Hourglass. Bring the encryption key to Spartan 117, the Master Chief. So, according to me, I'm an operative with no memory. Hmm. Well, the part about finding the Master Chief worked, I guess. I found you. That is accurate, Lieutenant. We received a ping from the Master Chief's Pelican at the rendezvous point, but the Master Chief intercepted us here. Why? I've been field testing my new armor and tracking you, but so is a squadron of Phaetons. I diverted their pursuit of this vessel by revealing my own, except I wasn't on it. How did you get to us? The Master Chief's armor is capable of limited but precise maneuverability in the vacuum of space. Well, that's handy. The enemy will only be fooled for so long. They'll be back, and they'll want the intel. But I don't know anything about the intel. Uh, unless this AI has it. Oliver. Negative, Lieutenant. Your augmented short-term photographic memory is the only link to the intelligence. Can you recall the encryption key at all, Lieutenant? I... I'm sorry, I can't. I... I don't know where to even begin trying. I think I've failed. Lieutenant. I am pleased to report that your last memory cycle persisted 12 minutes longer than your previous record. This improvement should offer emotional consolation. 12 more minutes of what? An existence that expires every day? There's nothing remotely consoling about that. And, and here I am conversing with some dumb AI and this guy. A Spartan? A I know nothing of him, but I can feel he is not someone who is let down very often. Oliver, perform long-range scans. Alert us of anything incoming. Understood. Are the rest of the ship's systems operational? Hmm. I see you've had some trouble back here. We had a coolant leak. Trihydride hexazine. The lieutenant ably handled the remedy. Looks like I went to town stabbing at the console. With this screwdriver, I guess? Well, I'm glad I did something right. Chief, look, I, I don't know how helpful I'm going to be if we're attacked. When we're attacked. And I wouldn't count yourself out. Can't imagine why not. Because you and I are the only soldiers here. And that makes us a unit. But... but I'm compromised. You don't fight battles under ideal circumstances. You fight them and win them where they happen. Trust your intuitions, not your memory. I have good reason to believe in your abilities, Lieutenant. Oliver, what are the current coordinates for the enemy craft? I'll need to know their precise approach vectors. Time to intercept. And Oliver says I spent the entire journey studying this guy, hearing what other people think about him. Well, somehow meeting him now tells me everything I need to know. Enemy squadron incoming. Lieutenant, pilot seat. I'm there. We are under fire. I want you taking continuous evasive action. Randomize your flight trajectories to keep them guessing. I can do that, because I'll be guessing too. The last shots missed us. The next won't. Keep us moving, Lieutenant. Another squadron, dead ahead. We are now taking fire from two sides. Damage report. We are leaking coolant again. I'm going to try something else. Hold on! Hitting full reverse thrusters! The squad to our rear is breaking formation. They are going to go around... us. Not for long. They are regrouping and firing on us again. This is about to get a little more complicated. What do you mean? I've been through this before. Intruder alert. They have translocated aboard our ship. What do we do? Continue with evasive maneuvers. 
I'll deal with them. We are still taking fire to multiple points of the fuselage. Oliver, you said something about us venting... Uh... Trihydride hexazine. That is correct. Hang on. I'm going to draw them closer. The risk factor of this maneuver... Just tell me when the enemy ships are near the gas! Three ships are enveloped in vented gas. Here we go. Getting a little closer. A little more. Engine stop! Firing single port thruster! Three enemy ships obliterated. The others have broken pursuit, but we seem to be in an uncontrolled spin. Well aware, can we stabilize? Detonation has taken starboard thrusters offline, working to restart. That explosive maneuver may have been a bad idea, but we got those batons off our back. Whoa. I don't know how long I can spin like this. I can't move. I'm out. Lieutenant, throw me your pistol. I can't do it. I can't orient myself. Uh, I'm out of control. We're spinning too fast. Lieutenant. I have the pistol in my hands. There's no way I can get this to the chief in one piece. I... I'm going to take the shot! I can't take the spin anymore. She is regaining consciousness. Lieutenant, are you okay? Ugh, did we get the bastards? We did. Good shot. What is it, Lieutenant? The Upper Canyon streams on Eridanus too. Go on. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I said that. I think I imagined something. Or remembered. The tide flows in reverse during the solstice. Stabbing. Stabbing, stabbing. The instrument panel. This is where Oliver said I was stabbing at the frozen panel. These don't seem like random markings that I made. You left yourself a message. A clue about the intel. These dashes and lines. This is not code. It's how POWs communicate between cells. How did I know about not code? Was I a POW? These markings the Chief is reading, they're like glyphs from an ancient people. I don't recognize any of it, but I feel there's meaning behind it. I believe I understand what this means. The solstice, the tides, in reverse. The key is flipped. I have what I need. Oliver, set a course to my pelican. The streams, moon, wind. Did I conjure an image from my imagination, or did I actually have a memory? I don't know. I do know that I just lived through an experience any normal person would not soon forget. In my case, it's T-4 hours. We have arrived at the coordinates. I'll be leaving from here. Wait, Chief. Oliver told me that I almost quit this mission. I don't know what to say. Log this mission a success. Armor field test complete. Enemies neutralized. Intel delivered. All will be vital for what's coming next. What's next for me is not remembering any of this. You engineered a way to pass information from one consciousness to the next. You're good at this, Lieutenant. That's why Oni has you doing what you're doing. By the way, I remember those streams on Aridness too. They do make an impression. Goodbye, Lieutenant Parisa. Goodbye, John. Watching the Master Chief float through the silence of space to his pelican, I can't help but think that even someone who looms so large is still just another soul looking for answers. Parisa. Lieutenant? Yes, Oliver? A message from Oni. Codename, Fixer. Go ahead. There's another mission, if you so choose. It's all just an infinite cycle. I'm sure one of my past selves would protest, but... Respond in the affirmative. We'll just call it my next fifth and final mission. You always do, Lieutenant. Parisa. 
It's Lieutenant Pariza. Your name? Excellent. Updating registry. Some good news. Your name cross-references several additional files in the UNSC archives. That is good news, Oliver. Set course and open those new files. Start with anything connected with the Iridinus system. The clock is ticking. Let's go! Lieutenant Parisa was performed by Zara Fuzzle. Oliver by Bill Millsap. Faith Abdi by Nandamiso Dembe. Franklin Mendez by Jim Meskimen. Carol Rawley by Tanya Pettiford Waits. Chips Dubbo by Andrew McCaig. Colum McGinnis by Darren Jacobs. Officer Mateus by Jackson Gutierrez. And John 117, the Master Chief, by Steve Downs. <laughs>